Hi, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office, and I am bringing you the foreclosure data through the end of October 2012. So let's go ahead and look at the chart of information here. Um, for This is for all of Maricopa County, and uh, we'll look at each line of information. So the top line, um, the purple line, represents all default properties. So this is any property that is currently within the foreclosure process. So that means it has received a notice of trustee sale, but it has not yet um, gone to auction. So that total number at the end of October 2012 is 11,899. And you can see that it has dropped from the previous month when there were about 13,000. And uh, it has uh, dropped for several months here. So that is um, all of the current active default properties. The next line that we're going to look at is the light blue line, and these are all residential REO properties. So these are the properties, all of the properties that the bank currently owns um, due to a lack of sale at the trustee sale. So, um, so these are all bank owned properties. At the end of October 2012, there were 5,955 residential REO properties. Um, the previous month we were at about the same, uh, just a difference of about 16 units, and from the month before that, just a difference of about 40 units. So we've uh, stayed pretty flat there, um, but if you look back one uh, year to October of 2011, you'll see at that time we were at 10,451. So we have dropped by 40% from then. Um, also, just speaking about REO properties, um, these are all the ones that the bank currently owns. However, there are um, 1,618 REO properties that are currently listed as active in the MLS, and there's an additional uh, 1,368 REO properties that are in the pending status in the MLS. So if you subtract those two out of this number, that means that there are um, just under 3,000 properties that have been foreclosed on but are not yet available uh, for sale in the MLS. So that's that shadow inventory that people refer to, and that number is about 3,000. Um, next, why don't we go ahead and take a look at, um, these are all kind of piled together, so uh, let's look at the blue line, which you can't see, but that's um, residential notices. It looks like it stayed pretty flat, maybe went down slightly from last month. Um, residential canceled um, went just up slightly, but has not uh, changed too much either. So those are kind of canceling each other out. All for the same number of new notices that have been received, that same number has been canceled. And uh, you find that they are canceled due to either the homeowner making up um, the payment and, and coming current on their loan, or um, if they uh, have a successful short sale and sell the house. So um, those are the residential notices and residential notices canceled. And then let's look at the final one, which is residential foreclosed. This is the one month number of properties that are being foreclosed on. Um, so um, if you look at this month, there were about um, 1,874 foreclosures. It was up just slightly from uh, September, up by about 150 units or so. Um, but if you look back to the highest one month foreclosure number, that was in March 2010 um, when we had 5,451. So we have obviously come a long way since then. Again, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office. I can help you with a variety of your um, real estate needs from um, these great marketing materials that we offer to real estate agents and uh, to um, these reports that I give and other statistics and facts that you can ask me for. Um, but of course, my escrow officers um, are really uh, who do the all the heavy lifting in the office, and that's Kathy Stewart, Don Robinson, and Stephanie Ritter, three excellent escrow officers. Uh, you won't be disappointed if you use us, so please give us a try. Thanks.